work in the fries and potatoes. Any potato jar me? Oh, you sir. You. You know any potato jar? Oh god, no. What are you doing? Go away. No. No. No, you evil. Evil person. I just want some potatoes. Y'all ever want it. I don't ever want it. Oh god, no. No. Hey guys, what's happening? Prismado here from Stinky Corp. And today we are doing a mod spotlight on a brand new mod I've created called Add Infios. And what this mod does is it completely overhauls your nether, adds in a ton of new content. Now, bear in mind, guys, this mod has just been released, so there are a lot of items and features that will be added. Possibly a new dimension if I get around to it. I'm not sure if I have enough time for that, but I'll try my best. Alrighty, so let's get into it. So I got a little setup here. So very first thing is we have the Netherrock tool and armor set. So this can kind of like get you started if you want to do a uh, Nether survival. So we have the Netherrock tool and armor set here. To craft this, you need two pieces of netherrock in your traditional crafting arrangement and a quartz stick. And to make that, you simply just take two quartz, put them on top of each other, and you can get four quartz sticks like so. And it's about as good as stone. And if we take out the weapons and spawn in a mob, and if we hit them with this, you will see that they will get a potion effect. Now that is weakness. So when you hit a mob with this tool set, it'll, you'll actually give them weakness, which can be pretty helpful if you're finding a lot of zombie pigments, for example. Next tool and armor set that we have is the obsidian tool and armor set. And to craft this, you need an obsidian ingot. And to make an obsidian ingot, you simply or there's two ways you can get a bunch of obsidian nuggets which you can get from a new mob I'll show you in a minute or you can put a little two by two of obsidian chunks and make two obsidian ingots and to make an obsidian chunk you simply just smelt obsidian with the fuel of your choice and you can get some obsidian chunks and this tool and armor set is a little bit stronger than diamond so if I take this out take out the armor too and if we wear this guys we will get slowness, but also we will get fire resistance. So we're immune to fire, can be pretty handy in here, but we do have slowness on us permanently. And if we smack a mob with it, they will get slowness for a couple seconds. So once again, very helpful if you're fighting a lot of mobs and you want to slow them down. Next armor set that we have is the netherite tool and armor set. And this is quite stronger than diamond. And to make this, you simply need two netherite ingots and a blade rod. And to make the netherite ingots, you will need a bunch of netherite nuggets. And to make that, you simply just need to smelt some netherite ore, and you will get netherite nuggets. And it's that's this ore right here. It's quite rare, about as rare as diamond. And it will spawn in little veins like that in the nether so look out for this it requires a diamond pickaxe to be mined or better so very good and if we take out this and if we wear this we will get invisibility guys how cool is that we're like a little ghost and also if we get a mob and smack them they will get weakness and blindness you can't tell or no my bad Sl slowness and blindness so definitely pretty evil especially if you're in a pvp match uh blind your opponent would be very very helpful in that kind of situation next on our list guys we got a couple mobs to go over 
do we have the Nether Spider, which is going to be the first one we're going to go over. And this guy will naturally spawn in the Nether. He has 20 health, and if we get out some diamond armor, because I'm not... And if we game it. mode ourselves, he will try to attack us, and he gives the wither effect on hit. So pretty evil, and they spawn in little groups. So they'll be harder to fend off. So definitely look out for these guys. They're, they're very evil, worse than the cave spiders. So, Eli Shell. And we're, we're just going to leave you there. Enjoy, enjoy your stay. Next mob is the. We're gonna, not, we're gonna come back to you. We have the Obsidian Sheep Mod. And. These guys will naturally spawn in the nether, kind of like actually in slightly bigger groups than Pigman. They're a little bit rarer too, and they wield obsidian swords, so they're pretty dangerous. And they'll give you they'll give you slowness if they smack you with that. Look out for them. And they're non-hostile until you hit them, just like Piggy. And if we kill this guy. There we go. Oh, we got the rail drop. So you can see that he will drop obsidian nuggets and on ch er, on occasion he'll drop an obsidian ingot. And sometimes if you're really lucky, he will drop his weapon. But, well, just like that. Thank you. So, as you can see, he dropped an obsidian sword. It's pretty damaged, but you can definitely get quite a bit of use out of this, especially if you repair that. Oh wait, never mind. One last thing, guys. So if we get a potion of weakness and a golden apple, bless you with this and feed you golden apple, you can turn them into a um uninfected or fully obsidian sheep mod. So kind of like a little guard that'll protect you. I'll be right back in a few minutes when he he's on the body. Oh, okay. Yeah, now that works. So now you can see that he is a obsidian golem. So he will defend you. So let's see if we can uh, hit you close to the city over here. Oh, and he's also fire resistant. So perfect example of his regimen there it doesn't affect him at all. And his health doubles. So he goes from 20 health to 40 health. And he still has an obsidian sword. Who is quite deadly, but he will fight on your side. So, will you attack the pigman for me, please? Pigman. Attack the pigman. Lazy. Smack him. Thank you. So, as you can see, he can be quite a useful guard. Guard your face. In the nether, if you have one, which I would recommend doing. It's, it's pretty fun playing nether survival with this. And if you you can get a whole army of these guys. Alright, moving on, we're just gonna leave them there. Kill off any more piggies. Or er, there's one over here. Alright, so put this back. And oh that's a oh we have a golem spawn egg, I almost forgot. So if you don't wanna have to be zombify them, you can actually just like click a little spawn egg like so. Last mob that we have is the Reaper. And this is a very, very rare spawn that you can find in the nether. And they spawn in small groups. So here he is. We have a reaper. And he also has a scythe, which he can drop. It has a couple special abilities to it. We'll get to that in so He has 80 health. He is very deadly. He will even teleport and is immune to fire. And he makes this creepy sound kind of scary. And actually, I kind of, I know I said we didn't want this to be a mob battle, but, but where'd you go? Nope. If we, what are you doing down there? Well, well, we'll get one up here, so we'll place down a reaper and a obsidian sheep and golem. So they mean to place you in the fire. Alright, let's see how this goes. But don't just stand there, do something! Oh, he died. Alright, let's see how many takes to kill him. Oh, and you can see that he gets inflicted slowness on this guy. 
so he's giving to a Jaguar for mom. Come on, smack him. Smack, I know you're scared. Come on. I know you're scared. There you go. Get him. Get him, my sheep man. Oh, so close. Alright, let's get a double in here. Come on, take him down. Yeah. And he didn't give, give me his job. So I'm just going to get him my sheep. You. Alright, there you go. So, he will drop netherite nuggets and in the pearls. And occasionally he'll drop his little weapon right there. It's really powerful, that weapon. I definitely recommend if you get enough armor trying to burst these guys. That's the poor sheep. Are you stuck in the lava? Look at that nudge. That nudge. Alright, you can get him out. In the lava. I'm gonna have to push him. Come on, sheep man. Smack him. Alright, while they do that, uh, we're gonna move on to the very last thing that we have in this mod as of now. And we have some epic items. Well, death. So we have, very first one is the flame staff. And we have a flame ball. And to craft this, you simply need two netherite rods and a flame ball. And to make a netherite rod, you just need two netherite ingots on top of each other, and you can make four rods. And for the flame ball, you simply need one blaze powder, one gunpowder, and one nether quartz, and you can get three of these. And you can actually pull this back and shoot out fireball, or flame ball. So yeah, definitely very destructive. You can do a lot of things with it. And there's a little easter egg that I added in, guys. So if we get a enchanted book with power, pop out a hand view. I love the little guy. And... Yeah, yeah. Now this is creative only, you can't do this in survival just yet, I'm working on that. Alright, so you saw the size of those holes, guys. Watch this. Boom! So you can see while this is creative only at the moment, you can make such massive holes with this. Um, Alright, let's see if we can one-shot this guy. Oh, he didn't survive that. You drop anything? I think you're blown up. And, oh. No survivors! Alright. So, yeah, it's pretty destructive. And the very last item that we have is the scythe. This is from the Reaper. This is one of my favorite items in the whole mod. Uh, personally, so it does 12 attack damage, so it is very powerful, and if you right click with it, you can teleport. So you can pretty much be a reaper with this teleport. Oh, almost forgot to mention, this does inflict nausea on hit. Just like, uh, I couldn't really show you, but the reaper would inflict nausea when he would use this item. Go away. And so you can kind of, con if you're having a PvP battle with something like this, you can kind of confuse people, like make them nauseous and then teleport away. So very, very useful if, or even if you just want to travel around your world without having food and lava, you could just teleport over, guys. Boom. No swimming today. All right, let's get back. And there is no crafting recipe for this. The only way you can get it as is by killing a bunch of these reapers and hoping that you can, or hoping that they will drop one. Let's try to kill, kill, die, no. Try this a couple more times. Drop it, no. That's right. Oh, one, one more time. I think I'm dead. Nope. Alright, so that's about all this mod has to offer for right now. I'll be trying to make as many updates for this as I possibly can. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, then as always, be sure to crush that like button. It helps me out. And be sure to subscribe.
for more epic Minecraft content like this. And remember, think big. Do bigger. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, people of your turn. Oh god, I'm in the wall.